is News Nation Now. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Jisuki. It's February 4th. Here's what you need to know on this Thursday morning. The director of the CDC says schools can reopen safely even if teachers are not vaccinated for the coronavirus. Dr. Rochelle Walensky says the agency's data shows social distancing and face masks significantly reduce the spread of the virus at school. The comments come as some teacher unions dismiss the idea of returning to in-person learning before teachers can get inoculated. House Democrats are planning to vote on a resolution to remove Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene from her committees this morning. The controversy around Green stems from her endorsement of multiple conspiracy theories, including saying some school shootings were staged. She has also liked or shared posts about violence against Democratic lawmakers before she was elected. Many House Republicans are condemning Green's rhetoric, but are stopping short of removing her from committees or asking her to resign. This comes amid a growing divide in the GOP, some members trying to oust Representative Liz Cheney after she voted to impeach former President Donald Trump. Last night, Republicans voted to keep Cheney as their number three leader, according to one of Cheney's aides. An Ohio police officer is indicted on murder charges in the shooting death of a black man who was unarmed. A grand jury indicted Officer Adam Coy yesterday in the death of 47-year-old Andre Hill. Body cam video from the December shooting shows Hill inside a garage and holding up a cell phone before Coy shot and killed him. Coy was fired in December. Olympic officials yesterday unveiled the first of many COVID-19 rules for the upcoming Tokyo Games, including a ban on singing and chanting during events. Participants are also required to wear masks at all times, except when eating, sleeping, or outdoors, and sufficiently socially distanced from others. Athletes and officials are also barred from using public transportation without permission. Those who break these rules may face punishments, including being expelled from the games. And trending this morning, are you trying to get over a former flame? Well, here's a unique way to get closure with an X. A zoo in Texas is letting you name a cockroach after your ex, mm, I can think of a few, and then feeding it to meerkats. Look how cute they are. The El Paso Zoo's annual Quit Bugging Me event takes place on Valentine's Day. Before then, people can go on the zoo's website and name a cockroach. Keepers will then feed the insects to the meerkats, which is part of a healthy diet for them. Donations are also encouraged, but not required. A wise person once told me closure is something you give yourself. <laughs> Okay, on that note, have a great day, everybody. Stay with us for breaking news coverage here on our app and website. And, of course, News Nation's broadcast at 8, 7 Central on WGN America. Start your morning with News Nation. Top headlines and trending stories delivered straight to your inbox for free. Go to newsnationnow.com newsletter to sign up.